What's up guys, to give you a little recap on the trailer here, me and my neighbor, Mike, are gonna do a couple different things. So we already sealed the top. Now we are focused on, I cleaned up all of the floor and the counters. So now we're gonna fill in this uh, floor section with some OSB. And we're going to build a little box around this wheel well with MDF. Right now, I'm cutting off a bunch of these uh, nails that have been sticking out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to focus. Let's see here. Uh, so a bunch of these nails have been coming out for, uh, after we, after I took off all the cabinets and. So if we had these nails coming in because they built the cabinets in, screwed it in from the outside, and then put the metal siding on the outside. So you're left with either a bunch of really big gaping holes that we're gonna have to fill, or nails sticking out, which I got my angle grinder. I'm just gonna grind them off. So. That's what we're doing today. And then if we have time, we're gonna build a sectional for a um, little seating and bed area. Mike over here is cutting away. All right, Mike just finished. Mike just finished doing the floor. Uh -huh. Perfect. Now we're gonna get some cabinets in, and we're ready to rock and roll. Status update. Okay, we've gotten the floorboards down. Uh, so now the floor is all level. We got the cabinet doors cut. And now we are working on building a little box out of some MDF. Mike, you want to explain what's going on here? Yeah, so we're just cutting out some squares so we can face the, uh, the wheel well um, and kind of protect and insulate this spot on the trailer. Perfect. So these are all we did for the cabinet doors. So the idea here is once we start painting all of the inside, we're going to have these set up kind of, yeah, kind of set up on, not on the floor, but kind of on stands or something. Paint these one as well. So we're painting the cabinets, cabinet doors, and then after these are all painted, We'll put hardware on them, we'll mount them. These ones, for these little drawers, actually have to, we're probably just gonna glue them onto the drawer, and then they'll just boop, butt up against the, the opening. But all, like these openings here, we'll have to get, uh, once they're all painted, we'll put some hinges on them, we'll get some hardware on them, we'll put some magnets, probably on the back and on here, and then they'll just, boop, Pop right up. All right, bench going in. We got the floors done, the box done, the cabinets all cut out, ready for paint and hardware. Box is looking trim. Look at that. And then we just built this little bench. So we're gonna build bench right there. And then L section going over top of the water tank and we're gonna make it so we can pull it out so it'll be a big it'll be a big L section but then a, a bed once it's all squared away Mike here 
is a man of many talents, and so he is going to help with figuring out the pull-out bed. So Mike, give us a rundown. We, uh, we got the main uh, L section on there. Now we're gonna work on kind of a mock-up of the, uh, the pull-out section. So kind of tell us how this is gonna work. Yeah, so this is the remainder of the couch. This will be the other 90 degree portion of the couch. When it's all pushed together like this, it'll, it'll just look like an L-shaped sectional. When you want to use the bed, however, you'll grab the front of it and slide out, and that'll double the width of that section that we're, we're building right now and basically turn it into a full rectangle so that that whole space will be utilized as a bed. Boom, so that's what we're doing. I'm not smart enough to do it on my own, so I asked my gear to <laughs> come help me out. Not true at so, all. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to it. Trailer update, it's freaking cold out in the garage, but I, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, let's see, there you go. I am cutting some um, plywood down to be the top of the chair. And so we have all of the chair built out. Let me kind of show you what, so I got, this is half inch um, MDF board. And then I got this, which is a quarter inch um, sand a plywood. So it's like a really smooth, kind of has a, a, a good finish. So you don't really need to sand it at all. And it, it's, it's pretty slick looking. That's the kind of plywood that I used for Coleman's um, loft bed but it was three quarter inch, so it was a lot thicker. This is just gonna be a little something to cover the face of it in, and it gives it kind of a nice look. So let me take you into the trailer and show you. Okay, as you can tell, it's nighttime, and we are full-fledged cleanup mode and uh, just kind of <laughs> repair mode. So kind of cool thing, we. Got the stove um, up and going, so we can cook now if we wanted to. We were working on, me and my buddy, we were working on the furnace a little bit uh, last night, but there's a little tiny fuse in here that we need so the thermostat can connect into there, and then once this pilot light is lit, it'll automatically... Um, flip on whenever it needs to draw more heat for, to read up with the thermostat. I had to go get a new thermostat because this, it was super old and it wasn't working. And, but there, it was so old that the wires were breaking off. So we had to kind of cut a hole up a little bit more till about right there and pull a little bit more cable out so we could wired up so there is always something but the goal now is to put a top on the seat top and top on the seat and then put that face board up against right there and face board up against there so it'll enclose all of that and uh that's what we're gonna kind of do the way this is supposed to go out is uh, some, you basically build two frames and it goes like this and then when you want it into be a bed, you pull it out, but there's, it kind of shifts side to side quite a bit, so you have to kind of pull it in the middle, but this side comes out a little farther and then you got to pull that side out and it kind of is a little more janky than I want. So then you pull it all the way out, boom. And then you have a mat right here, a mat right here. Then you have this huge queen size bed. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I need to cut these tips right here. Let's see, oh, block. I need to cut the ends of these at kind of like a 45 so they slide up on the end a little bit better. 
And what I'm thinking of doing is taking the plywood that we put uh, on top, at least on this front section, I'm gonna lightly screw it in and then it'll remove a lot of the play that happens back and forth with these. And then I think once I put the face board in, it won't, it won't play as much either. So I'm hoping that it, then it'll be able to slide out a little bit better. I mean, either way, it slides out decent. Like, uh, it's, it's not like it doesn't work, it does. But just to make it a little bit easier, I think that's, that's the goal at least. Because then when you slide it in, See, it kind of shifts a little bit if you don't put even pressure on, on all of them. And then there's that bar right back here. <clears throat> Since it's just flat, or the ends of these, these uh, pieces right here are just flat, it just smacks against the side, so you kind of have to lift it up and get it over that. But if I cut the ends of them at an angle, I think they'll just boop, pop right up. So, definitely a work in progress. But I think it, it's at least working. That, and I think I'm parked uh, in our driveway and we're kind of at an angle a little bit. We're not super flat. I think if you were flat, this would pull out a thousand times easier. All right, so bench is done. The cut the boards for the tops. Uh, I got a. I screwed in the this top plate so it doesn't move side to side as much. Pull that out. That kind of slides forward a little bit, and then up top, I ha I put some extra um, boards that you can lay down once it's into like a the queen size bed or whatever. Then I put the face plate on there, kind of dusty it up a little bit more. I think we're gonna run into an issue. So it kind of, you can see that's not square. I don't know if you can tell, but we're kind of slanted a little in the trailer. Everything else is square. And so I think if you were to level it out, then that would be a little bit square, but it's a DIY project. So <laughs> it don't really, it doesn't matter too much. Um, uh, we, uh, we checked the stove, we turned that on and it works just fine. We, uh, tried the heater. Um, there's a fuse in there. I think I, that I said that I need to, um, tweak or that I need to go find and it should work with our new thermostat. Courtney is wallpapering the wall, which that looks splendid, doesn't it? And, uh, Everything else I put on some of the doors. Um, we still need to kind of get some hardware and stuff for, but at least kind of put on. And I need to get some magnets so they'll shut. But uh, other than that, I think we are ready for flooring is the next stage that we're going to do. And then Courtney is going to, uh, we're going to replace the faucet and Courtney's going to cement the countertops and then I think the only thing left that I really want to do is the ceiling and I'll cut boards to almost have like a little shiplap look and then I need to get new um, vent liners for those and boy it's gonna look really good.